Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and I'd like to talk to you about open versus closed MRI scanners. And so a little bit of history. This is the typical closed MRI scanner. This is how scanners used to be when they first created them. They're very long and narrow, and the tube was fairly tight. It was about 60 centimeters, and again, very long. And this is the table. The patient would lay on the table. They would pull the table up, and the table and patient would slide in. And once the patient was on that table, the nose would be very, very close to the front of this. And with the tight space being deep in the scanner and really loud noises, claustrophobia was a really significant problem, and a lot of people wanted to get out of there and couldn't get an MRI scanner, uh, MRI scan. So they came up with this, an open MRI. And so the open MRI, instead of being a tube like this, like a donut, the open MRI has a plate up top. This is a magnet at the very uh, top. And then the base of it, another magnet. And the magnetic field is vertical. And you can see here how there's lots of space on all sides. So if the patient wants to escape, they can escape at any direction. And they do way, way better with this uh, open MRI configuration. And now there's a new generation of open MRI scanners. So now there is a tube donut configuration that we consider to be open now. Instead of being long and narrow, it's short. They call it a short bore. So from front to back, the tube is less, uh, has less distance. And also, the diameter of the opening, instead of being 60 centimeters or so, it's 70 centimeters, or sometimes even greater than 70 centimeters. So the combination of that wide bore and the short bore um, is a great thing because patients can have the nice image quality of a donut configuration and also not have the claustrophobia like they used to have with the long, narrow tube. Now, there's still a classic open MRI like this where the plate is up top and bottom, these two magnets, and it's, this technology has evolved as well. They've got better, they call them gradient magnets for better image quality. But again, there's two types of open MRI scanners now, wide short bore donut configuration, and then, then the classic open MRI. Now, First Lick MRI has this configuration in Brazelton and this configuration in Brookhaven, and patients seem to do very well on both of them. This is a little picture of the standard MRI, and again, this is not representative. The nose sometimes can be really close to the front of this. But you can see how to get out, you can't, um, you have to go a long distance towards the feet or towards the head, and the head has to be right in the center of this to scan a brain or neck. And here is the wide short bar. See how much shorter it is and how much wider it is. So you can see out much better. And again, patients do a lot better. So that is the difference between open and closed MRI and the classic open versus the new short wide bore MRIs. And thank you very much for watching.